Good afternoon, Stillwater. I'm Joshua Weisel here in the Ocali Storm Studio with a special edition of an Oklahoma weather update for this afternoon. Starting off with the temperatures across the area, if you have felt those hot and miserable temperatures, well, it's because Stillwater is one of the hottest parts in the region this afternoon. We're currently at 97 with some high dew points coming up. Uh, let's take a look at those dew points real quick. There you go, we're seeing a dew point of 70. Now, you don't typically see dew points that often this high. So when you have hot surface temperatures like what we're seeing and high dew points, that could lead to some thunderstorm activity later on this afternoon. So as you can see, 72 down near the Oklahoma City Metroplex and 70 up here near Stillwater, 73 just to our south and 73 near Enid. So those are quite high dew points. Let's take a quick look at the severe weather risk. There we go for today. We do have a low and severe weather risk across the area that includes Stillwater. This is for the potential for some showers and storms later on this afternoon that could reach strong to severe levels. Uh, so when you see these outlooks, these are not based off of storm intensity. These are based off of storm coverage. Now we have seen some models that show maybe a few thunderstorms developing across this area in Stillwater and Payne County later this afternoon and evening. We've seen a few that say that it could stay south of us. We've seen a few that say that there really isn't gonna be a whole lot of activity at all. So with that being said, if you live in Payne County, it's not guaranteed that you're gonna see severe weather, but it's something to keep in mind as we head into the afternoon and evening. Threats with storms today will be hail up to tennis ball, maybe even baseball sized, uh, but that won't be with every storm. It's something we're gonna have to keep an eye on. Uh, other threats include 60 to 70 mile an hour winds and maybe even an isolated tornado or two as well, but the tornado threat is low just to ease any fears. Uh, another thing, it's not on here, but the Storm Prediction Center actually has a hashed area that does include Payne County, and that's the one risk that the Storm Prediction Center actually issues for storm intensity, and that was for the hail risk because we have the potential of up to three inch hail with a handful of storms if they develop and strengthen to those levels. So that's something we're gonna have to keep an eye on. Let's take a look at the uh, Cape across the area. And this is ahead of a cold front that's moving through. Their cold front is currently just to the west of Enid on the western sides of the state. Now Cape, when I mentioned Cape, this is the energy and instability in the atmosphere for storms. And the higher Cape values you get, the more likely it is that you see a thunderstorm develop out of that. So as you can see where these colors are, wet, are red, white, and pink, that's where we're seeing some stronger Cape values and that will be more supportive for potentially some severe weather this afternoon. All right, so let's take a look at the Futurecast radar. This was the 3 KNAM, uh, the last run that we had on the system. And as you can see, there's a potential for maybe a few storms to develop across the Stillwater area. And that's why I highlighted this one. There's a few, like I said, saying there could be a potential for some storms to our south. There's some saying that we may not even see it. But there's a few that are also saying that we could see some storms develop over the Stillwater area and push their way to the east towards the Tulsa area. So this is why we're keeping a close eye on this. And that's why we're having the special edition uh, Oklahoma weather alert for this afternoon. Be sure to stay tuned with us. You can follow my social media for updates throughout the day and make sure that you have a way to receive warnings this afternoon and evening. Don't get caught off guard if a storm does develop in our area and move through. Stay tuned for the latest. I'm Joshua Weisel. Thank you for tuning in.